Most people experience abdominal discomfort or pain at some point in their lives. Abdominal pain, sometimes called stomachache or bellyache, is usually felt in the part of the trunk below the ribs, above the pelvis, and the groin. It can range in intensity from a mild ache to severe, destabling pain. While abdominal pain isn't normal, it isn't necessarily serious, and it often resolves itself. But certain forms of abdominal pain may indicate a serious health condition, so it's important to recognize the signs that may indicate you have an underlying problem requiring medical attention. Hi, I'm Joshua and I am here to help you with your stomach pain, relief here in the Stomach Health Channel. Now, let's continue with the video. Signs and Symptoms of Abdominal Pain Abdominal pain may take several different forms. In addition to how severe it is, abdominal pain can be described in the following ways. Generalized pain This refers to pain felt in more than half of your abdominal area and is typical of stomach viruses, indigestion, or gas as the cause of your pain. Localized pain This refers to pain felt in just one area of your abdomen and is typical of a problem with an organ like your stomach, appendix, or gallbladder as the cause of your pain. Cramping this type of pain come and goes or changes in its severity or perceived position in your abdomen. Cramping is rarely serious and is typical of gas, passing a stool or menstruation as the cause of your pain. Colicky pain, like cramping, this type of pain comes and goes, but tends to be severe and to start and end suddenly. It's typical of kidney stones or gallstones as the cause of your pain, according to Mount Sinai. It's important to call your doctor if your abdominal pain is so severe that you can't move without feeling more pain or sit still in a comfortable position. Seek immediate medical attention if your abdominal pain is accompanied by any of the following symptoms. Fever, bloody stool, nausea and vomiting that doesn't resolve, weight loss, yellowish skin, abdomen very tender to touch, swollen abdomen, causes and risk factors of abdominal pain. While we don't usually feel the inner workings of our abdomen, Pain can occur when there is a disruption of the normal functioning of an organ or area of tissue inside. Abdominal pain can be caused by inflammation, as in appendicitis, diverticulitis, or colitis, organ distension or stretching, as in an intestinal obstruction or blockage of a bile duct by gallstones, or loss of blood supply, as in ischemic colitis. Some prescription and over-the-counter medications, as well as dietary supplements, can cause stomach pain. Medications can do this by irritating the stomach, leading to nausea, pain, and diarrhea, or by slowing digestion, leading to constipation. Be sure to check the label of any drug you take to see if abdominal pain is listed as a possible side effect. According to Johns Hopkins Medicine, some of the most common causes of abdominal pain include the following health conditions. Irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, constipation, peptic ulcer, pancreatitis, diverticulitis, According to Kaiser Permanent, severe pain that warrants emergency medical attention may be caused by the following conditions. Aortic aneurysm rupture, stomach or intestinal perforation, torsion of an ovary or testicle, when the ovary or testicle twists on the tissues that support them. For the Mayo Clinic, other potential causes of abdominal pain include the following. Indigestion, stomach virus, gastritis, menstrual cramps, food poisoning, food allergies, gas, fecal impaction, lactose intolerance, pelvic inflammatory disease, hernia, gallstones, kidney stones, intestinal obstruction, endometriosis, Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, urinary tract infection, UTI, gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD, appendicitis, cancer, pancreatic, stomach or liver, ectopic pregnancy, celiac disease, strained or pulled abdominal muscle. For health children and children, common causes of abdominal pain include constipation, urinary tract infection, UTI, especially in girls' ages, one to five, strep throat, appendicitis, milk allergy, lead poisoning, often from eating paint chips, emotional upset. How is abdominal pain diagnosed? The cause of abdominal pain is diagnosed based on your symptom history a physical examination and testing if needed, your doctor is likely to ask you questions about the characteristics of your pain and whether you have any underlying physical or mental health conditions that could be contributing to your abdominal pain. Questions from your doctor may address the following aspects of your abdominal pain, where it's located, how intense it is, whether it's dull, stabbing, burning, or cramping, whether it comes and goes, 
when you experience or notice it most, whether it radiates outward to other areas of your body, how long you've had it, whether any activities or actions seem to make it worse or better. Your doctor may also ask about your overall health history, any recent injuries, and whether you might be pregnant. If your doctor suspects a serious health condition that may need treatment, any of the following tests may be used to help diagnose the cause of your abdominal pain. Blood, urine, or stool tests. X-ray of the abdomen. Ultrasound of the abdomen. Computerized tomography. CT, scan of the abdomen. Barium enema, colon X-ray. Endoscopic procedures. Inserting a tube with a tiny camera through your mouth or rectum to view areas inside your digestive tract. Electrocardiogram, ECG, or ache. Prognosis of abdominal pain how long your abdominal pain lasts, and whether it gets better or worse will depend on the cause of your pain and how the pain responds to any treatments. Many forms of abdominal pain tend to respond to self-care measures or simply get better on their own, including pain caused by constipation, food allergies or intolerances, or stomach viruses. But abdominal pain caused by severe acute or chronic conditions may require extensive treatment before it gets better including pain caused by appendicitis, bowel obstruction, peptic ulcers, cancer or inflammatory bowel disease, Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Duration of abdominal pain. Abdominal pain can be brief or long-lasting, depending on its underlying cause. It can be ongoing or recurring, coming and going at what seem like random intervals or with certain activities or behaviors. How long your abdominal pain lasts or whether it comes and goes, doesn't necessarily correspond to how severe the underlying condition is. Severe pain that comes on suddenly demands immediate medical attention. You should also seek medical attention if you have ongoing pain that increases with movement or coughing, or if you have initially mild pain that grows more severe over hours or days. Treatment and medication options for abdominal pain. The treatment for abdominal pain depends on its cause. Depending on the cause of your pain, the best course of treatment may involve self-care measures, over-the-counter or prescription medications, or procedures, including drug injections or surgery, according to the Cleveland Clinic. Self-care measures. Mild abdominal pain due to digestive upset may respond to short-term self-care measures, such as the following. Avoiding solid foods for a few hours. Sipping water or clear fluids. Resting until you feel better. Avoiding dairy products citrus fruits, fatty foods, tomato products, caffeine, alcohol, and carbonated beverages. Sticking to mild foods like crackers, rice, bananas, or applesauce. Don't take aspirin, ibuprofen, or other non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, and SAIDs for abdominal pain. Since these medications can irritate your stomach and actually increase your pain, notes Kaiser Permanent, medication options. It's generally not advised to take any medications for abdominal pain without first talking to your healthcare provider. Since some common drugs for pain can irritate your digestive tract and make your pain worse. If you have an underlying health condition that requires medical treatment, your doctor may prescribe medications such as the following. Drugs to treat gastroesophageal reflux disease, GER. Antibiotics to treat infection. Drugs to reduce inflammation. Targeted treatments for inflammatory bowel disease, IBD, procedures and surgery. In rare cases, office procedures or surgery may be needed to effectively treat your abdominal pain. These procedures may include the following. Injection of a numbing agent, corticosteroid injections, hernia repair surgery, appendectomy, alternative and complementary therapies. In addition to self-care measures, certain alternative therapies may help you reduce or cope with abdominal pain. According to Medline Plus, these measures include acupuncture, hypnosis, meditation, relaxation training, prevention of abdominal pain. In many cases, abdominal pain can be prevented by adopting lifestyle and dietary choices that address the cause of your pain. Constipation, digestive upset, and even abdominal injury can often be prevented. The following steps may help you prevent abdominal pain. Drink plenty of water. Staying hydrated can help you avoid constipation. Develop regular bowel habits. Many people can train themselves to have regular bowel movements to help avoid constipation. Follow a balanced, fiber-filled diet. Eating a variety of fruits, vegetables, and fiber-rich foods like whole grains can help support healthy digestion and reduce constipation. Eat regularly and slowly. Eating moderately sized meals instead of waiting until you're very hungry and stuffing yourself can help avoid pain from overeating or eating on an empty stomach. 
exercise regularly. Getting enough physical activity can help prevent constipation and strengthen your abdominal muscles, which may help prevent straining. Wear a seatbelt properly. Abdominal injury from car accidents can often be prevented by wearing a seatbelt, as it's designed to be worn. Notes Kaiser Permanent. Complications of abdominal pain. Complications, including changes to your eating habits and psychological distress. People with irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, for example, are more likely to develop mood disorders like depression and anxiety, according to the Mayo Clinic. In addition, many of the underlying conditions that cause abdominal pain can lead to serious complications, including the possibility of structural damage to the digestive system from infection, cancer and its treatments, and inflammatory bowel disease, IBD. To reduce the risk of complications, it's important to seek medical attention for your abdominal pain if it's sudden and severe, or if it includes symptoms like fever, bloody stool, weight loss, nausea and vomiting, or visible swelling. You should also schedule a doctor visit to get your pain checked out if it lasts longer than a few days or worries you. Research and Statistics How many people have abdominal pain? Practically everyone experiences occasional abdominal pain, usually due to minor conditions like digestive upset or constipation. It's harder to determine how many people experience chronic abdominal pain, since it can be caused by a variety of health conditions and doesn't always come with a clear diagnosis. For example, while 5-7% to of adults in the United States have been diagnosed with irritable bowel syndrome IBS, the actual prevalence of IBS is estimated to be 10-15% to of the population, according to the American College of Gastroenterology. Constipation is believed to be even more common, affecting about 20% of the general population, but may affect anywhere from 2 to 27% of the population depending on the definition used. Constipation is particularly common among older adults, affecting as many as 50% of people who live in nursing homes. Severe constipation is most commonly seen in elderly women, according to research published in 2015 in Clinical Interventions in Aging. Related Conditions of Abdominal Pain some of the most common conditions associated with abdominal pain include the following. Irritable Bowel Syndrome IBS. This condition is characterized by symptoms like diarrhea, constipation, and bloating. Constipation If you aren't having regular bowel movements, you may feel bloated and full and experience sharp gas pains in your abdomen. Peptic Ulcer When a sore develops in the lining of your stomach or upper small intestine, you may experience a burning sensation similar to hunger pangs along with nausea, vomiting, or heartburn. Pancreatitis inflammation of your pancreas may cause sharp, severe pain in the upper middle area of your abdomen, along with nausea, vomiting, or fever. This condition can be either acute or chronic. Diverticulitis when small pouches inside your colon, large intestine, become infected or inflamed. You may experience discomfort or tenderness in the lower left area of your abdomen, according to Johns Hopkins Medicine. I know it's unbearable to bear stomach pains, so I may have something that might help you. Pepto-Bismol Well, I'm not sponsored. It's just an affiliate link where I get a commission every time someone buys using my link on the description. So Pepto-Bismol is known worldwide and is a multi-symptom relief medicine. If your stomach hurts, chances are Pepto-Bismol would be able to relieve it. Don't just take my word for it. It has 10,000 five-star ratings on Amazon. Not to mention, it's number one pharmacist recommended brand for upset stomachs. So what are you waiting for? Fix that painful stomach.